29er e-bike but let's come back to that <laughs> all right i'll go and get another one really random but i got given a whole mini ramp for free check this out Let me just check it's the same transition. It is the same. Fantastic news. I have a serious request right now, and this is serious. I want a new name for the unit. I want it to be BMX based. Maybe trick based, because then we don't just, just have it BMX, we can have jump bike and BMX. But I want a new name for the shed, and it has to be something to do with tricks, stunts, bikes, jump bike and BMX, go. What we're going to do right now is stick every timber that we've cut into this frame to this frame and this frame to this frame. Seriously, I'm so excited. I know I haven't rode much BMX since me and Mafia parted ways. It's been pure jump bike action, but I assure you, I am excited to put some BMX back on the YouTube channel. How many times have I said on this channel, faces do not lie? Check that out. It is actually insane as you can see we've got five foot quarter fully up ready to be wall road i need to use my reciprocating saw on these metal bits dangling and this pipe check it out i'm so hyped on this little space um next got a splinter next on the list we are going to be making something four foot over here so about this high over this side with hopefully a bit of a bigger deck this video is full of surprises so we are going to show you something else after this clip there is a possibility that you already know from the thumbnail and the title but check it so we have got four foot high nice big deck wall ride straight into the five foot section on this side Super short flat bottom, but it, it, it does look fun. Hello and welcome to the next segment of today's video. I hope you've enjoyed the mini ramp build in the unit. We still need a name. I've got a new e-bike. But do not... We're going to get to that. We're going to get to the bike. Don't panic, because I still have the Kinevo. The Kinevo is a medium 180 travel front and rear. Effectively, it's like an e-bike for downhill riding as well as getting up it's the ultimate uplift machine i bought this second hand on ebay it's a 2019 model and it had done 40 kilometers which is like 40 kilometers is seriously like 20 miles i think it is it's crazy let me run you through the difference between the levo and the kinevo as you can tell i'm e-bike mad but i've been looking at buying something with rear suspension that was a 29er so we decided to get an e-bike instead of a manual bike because on the second hand market it was roughly the same price for the e-machine as it was for a manual bike this is effectively a more playful Kinevo it's got 150mm travel on the front 150mm travel on the rear and it's basically more of a trail style bike it's got 29 inch wheels and are you ready for this? bring it in it's a small which is absolutely sick. It's a little bit more like the sizing on the Chameleon. The most important bit is we are gonna get out more on the e-bikes for the videos. Okay, so the plan today with the Levo 29er small was gonna be do some basic comparisons, jumping, berms, like some rooty downhill tech sections. I was gonna do comparing the Levo against the Kinevo. But to be honest, we are sitting in a storm right now, which is why I'm filming this in trees. But basically, as you would know in the UK, we have got a crazy storm right now for the next 48 hours. So the actual comparison is probably going to have to wait until this week. But it's going to be a really cool video. So the first thing we did to the Levo E-Machine 29er, we swapped the grips out for blue Berg Tech grips. We swapped the stem out for the shortest hope stem that we could find. It's, it's sitting at a staggering 30 mil in front of the step in front of the head tube. So it's super short, this thing. We also put um Bergtech plastic Mark IV pedals on it. Just the basic upgrades where now it's immediately 
just a funner, more playful bike. The bike did come with upgraded tyres. As you would know on specialised um, completes, they come with butchers. What's really cool about the Levo is standard second hand, it came with Minion DHF, 2.6s, 29ers. And the same on the rear, but a DHR2, 29, 2.6. So it's basically got that fat, fat e-bike feel on a 29er. I have never ridden a 29er. The next few videos are going to be quite crazy. I've always wanted to know what a 29er felt like. And I guess I'm going to find out. We've had a little play around on the e-machine. It's really, really cool. I'm hoping to get back out this week and do some sort of comparisons between the Kinevo and the smaller travel. 29er, small frame, specialised Levo. What a bike. Let's turn it off. It's done for the day. Um, the storms have been quite crazy. Like, really, really crazy. When me and Mafia bikes parted ways, this is the bike that I built up and I haven't actually ridden BMX yet. I've been so consumed by jump bikes, big bikes, building ramps. I haven't actually took this bike anywhere to the skate park. But we have been building a ramp inside, as you will know. So the plan is, hopefully I can get on that for its first session inside the building. Come and check this out. So, as you can see, we have a Luton van full of ramps. I mean, like... A lot of timber, these are long lengths, these are short lengths. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six transitions and about definitely a good good couple of dozen plyboard sheets as well. So we have a lot of wood for BMX, jump bikes, backyard stuff. It's gonna be quite crazy. I haven't actually ridden this bike yet. I've put the new crank bolt in, so the cranks are nice and tight again. New crank bolt is in and this bike is quite mad it was actually 2006 i think no 2007 when i got this bike which is really crazy this frame so we're going to do a couple of 180s to christen the bike let's go Sick. I'm gonna do a manual 180 on the beast. Feels quite weird to be on a BMX, but it feels quite fun, which is cool. I've missed it. Okay. I'm gonna do manual 180. Oh, he's still got it. Still in the game. I've just figured out that I think it was September. End of September, October was the last time I actually rode BMX. And it feels nuts. I'm well into it. Oh my god! It's way like faster than a jump bike. Definitely feels like more like crazy over the over the front end. I can't wait to just get a few sessions in. No pressure. Do what I want to do. That's what we like. That's what the channel's about. Let's go. Welcome back. I've got all the timbers cut to put some framework into this side and some framework into this side. And then we can move on to the flat bottom. So, this is gonna be mega quick. I've framed and timbered one side. Ready for plywood. Okay, okay, so hopefully the next time you see this, that side looks a little bit something like that, and we have timbers all the way across. I reckon we're only one to two days off finishing this ramp, which is quite cool. Not even days, just sessions, timbering, plying. Next, we're gonna do the skin across the top of it. It's gonna be amazing. I hope you are as hyped as me to get the BMX out for some clips, the jump bike out for some clips, and who knows what else in here. We do have another half to play with as well, so I'm gonna let you guys design the other half. That's gonna be the end of today's video. Hope you've enjoyed a bit of a random vlog. We've got a new 29er 
e-machine. I hope you've enjoyed the video today and make sure you check back for the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.